No, stop, stop, stop it. Hello everybody and welcome back to Disturbed where we're about to find out what is in this old creepy man's trap door and a one and a two and a three. You observe the trap door and notice a lock keeping it closed. I just completely screwed up everything. Hey, but we have a key. I was kidding. I was just kidding. I know you're all pissed at me, but I'm just too amazing. I know. I know. I'm really. Never mind. I like the hatch, blah, blah, blah. Without thinking, you travel downward. Oh. Hey. How you doing? So you're uh, practicing your, uh, your part in a uh, slave woman play? Something like that? Uh, walk down the steps. There. You notice immediately that there's a woman chained to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness around you as you stay in this awful place. Uh, let's talk to her. Let's talk to her. Uh, you tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there? Let me out of here. The pressure of such a demand makes you freeze. Take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What, what got you locked up to begin with? You'll never believe me if I've ever told you the, the truth. Something brought me you here. Please have mercy on me. Alright, so I can either free her or decline. I feel like if I free her, she's going to kill me. <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I'm a nice person. You approach the woman and lock the shackles. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Oh, thank you so much. Struggles to regain her strength, but starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns toward you. I'm going to die. I know it. I will do you now a favor. Yep. Seem to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of your bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the entrance of your life slip away as everything goes black. That's fun. It's unfortunate that a journey ends here. Well, whoop de doo Okay, so this time we're gonna decline. I will not let you go. No, don't go. When nothing else to interact with, you make your way up the stairs. No, stop, stop, stop it, stop it, stop the laughing, stop, stop. As you exit, you can hear the woman laugh behind you. The voice causes you to the shit. You leave the shack as fast as you could. Well, yeah, I would leave the shack. Totally leave the shack. I leave the shack and cross the bridge before something else happens. So, yeah, I would do that. You cross the bridge safely and continue down the trail. After all that has happened, you feel like you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree to sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. I think I'll pick up the grass. Oh my god. Just pick up the grass, blades in your reach. The ground begins to shake before you can get up. Roots from the clothes sprout for the ground and wrap around your legs. Wow. Wow. You turn around and see a large, angry face looking behind you. Your jaws drop in horror. No sound. Who <laughs> screams the same? Yeah. Your tongue is just the tightened grip of the roots. Squeeze what air is left out from your body. Dang. He's an angry tree. Your adventure ends here. Okay. So, angry tree man got me. So, I'm just going to take a nap. Maybe things will feel better. Your eyes close and your body relaxes. You fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. Details emerge as you gaze. You wonder who this might be. A bad feeling that overcomes you and you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up. Is that me? I think that's me. You wake up and jump to your feet, looking about yourself and your surroundings. All seems well. You can't help but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Move forward, it seems like the only obvious option now. Ugh, <laughs> multiple paths. Why? You reach the point where the trail splits into two paths. Which way should you go? So I can go left or right. I can go left, but it might be the wrong way since right is the right way. Um, I'm going to go with the right way since it is the right way because it's right. 
but you know, who knows, maybe the right is wrong and wrong is right. You reach the end of the pathway, and the distance is a tower looking over this area. The gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property. Also of interest, there is a tree that has a hole carved into it. So I can go to the gate, inspect the tree, or go back. I'm going to inspect the tree. You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in it. You look and see something shiny in the hole, as if metal. Feeling around with your hand, you find three knobs. One on the right, one centered, and one middle, and one on the left. Why are there knobs? Oh, and open to the gate? Press the knobs. Oh, left? Middle? Right. The knobs lock in place. You wait for a moment, but nothing happens. It must be some sort of combination. Okay, so let's leave the tree. <laughs> And uh, go to the gate. You approach the gate cautiously. And, uh, oh, wait, I can get in. Oh, that's so weird. So the tree has to be for something else. Uh, I'll figure that out in a bit. Same before the tower, your heart begins to sink. This is no doubt the birthplace of the spreading plague. There's a fountain before you with statues on your right and left. All right. No, so if this is the birthplace, I'm actually going to go back to the path, see what's on the left quickly. To continue down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up toward a nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would have never, never noticed. Which way do you go? Continue down the path, follow the trail to the grass. Follow the trail in the grass. So let's go in there. Ooh, Excalibur! Follow the subway trail, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. Oh, it's a grave. Inspect the grave. You approach the grave and you look at the sword with intrigue. Oh, a ghost. But you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure appears before you. Freeze before the apparition. The sword. May I have it? The blade is cursed. I am bound here to pain of my past. If you desire the sword, free me from it. You slowly motion for the sword. Fool! Only something of pure essence can free me. A rare hope like a flower found in the darkness. I'm just gonna grab the sword. You reach for a sword, but before you can lay a finger on it, the spear grabs your arm. Sharp pain flows over your body as the flesh melts. Oh! That's the dream I had. Alright. So I'm gonna back away from the sword. You listen to Spectre and leave the sword. Figure fades over here. Okay, so let's just continue on. You pause to see that there's a lake nearby. The trail continues on your right. Inspect the lake. Step near the lake and look down into it. Resting underwater is an orb of some sort sitting on the bottom of the lake. There's something strange about it, so calling out to you. Hey, let's dive in. I'm gonna drown, probably. But you close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes, see the stone sitting before you. you start to make your way toward it. Large fish comes for you. Like one of those monsters. Yeah. You try to leave for the surface, but the fish catches you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. Close your eyes. The giant fish rips your body apart. You die in a very painful death. Alright, I'm going to leave now. It's probably not the time. Uh, let's just continue along the trail. The faint trail comes to an end. There's a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Inspect the stone pillars and move on. Uh, you stand before the large stones, arranged in the shape of a circle. There is a stone, which what appears to be some sort of slot or hole. No doubt about it, something is meant to be placed here. Seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. Oh, okay, so that orb in the water has to go in the middle of that pillar, but I need to figure out how to get that orb first. Uh, so let's just explore the field for right now. You find yourself gazing over a grass field with hills rolling off into the distance. <gasps> a unicorn! As if a trick upon your eye, you see a unicorn run across the field. It disappears out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of the unicorn can help you with your quest, but there is clearly something wrong. 
If only there was a way to charm it. Alright. So... There's an orb at the bottom of the pond I need to get. There's a sword that I need to get. I need to put the orb in the thing. Man, this is a lot more confusing than I thought it would. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I still have more to explore up here. Uh, follow the trail. Continue down the path. You walk for some time and find an endless field of grass. There's a stone well near the path. Cool. Uh, inspect the well. Peer down the well. Other than the evident water at the bottom, there's a coin resting against the wall of the well. Possibly you feel you should go down and take the coin. Yeah, grab the coin. Follow. Follow. There's no possible way you can obtain the coin by reaching. With this in mind, you turn to climb along the wall. You can use successful steps down, but your lurk runs out. You misplace your footing. Tumbling about, your body clashed against the stone wall with a single knock on the head. You lose all consciousness of your accident. With a splash, you fall into the water. Your body sinks effortless, and you drown without really your adventure ends here. I, I really like exploring this. There's a lot of different things to it that I never really thought. This is actually a lot longer than I thought it was. I, was, I thought it was gonna be like that much. So far it's that much. I think I still have that whole section with all those mini quests I'm guessing I need to explore. And then you have all of this other stuff over here with that mansion and the tree and the knobs I still have to figure out. Uh, so that'll be interesting to figure out. But uh, I think I'll end this video here. So thanks everyone for watching. If you like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you like big fish and falling down wells, uh, share this on your face to the book feeds and your Twittery feeds. And if you want, uh, subscribe to my channel for more content. Become part of my big family on YouTube. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.